Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. It's a great day and it's almost kind of like getting time for tax season. Oh yeah, but I've got Margie Manick. She's the digital editor-in-chief for AARP. She's here to provide tips and advice for us I'll call a seasoned American. Margie Mannix, <laughs> welcome to the Valder BB Show. Oh, great to be here, Valder. I love that seasoned Americans. Yeah, you know, that's a good title, isn't it? Maybe they Yeah, maybe that's great. That. Okay, tell me, what do the um, number one thing taxpayers need to know? Let's give it to them off the bat. Well, right away, um, it, it's, it's almost a warning. This is the most complicated tax season ever. Oh, my gosh. COVID has disrupted our lives in so many ways, but it's really disrupted our finances in a big way for so many people. So uh, tax scene is, is extremely complicated this year. So what are some of the questions that taxpayers are asking this year if it's so complicated? <laughs> uh, well, number one, um, can I file for free? And yes, there's many, many places that will help you file for free, including our own AARP Foundation Tax Aid Program. The IRS has a free file program. If you have an adjusted gross income of less than $72,000, you can get free help. The next big question is those economic stimulus payments. Are they taxable? The short answer is no, they're not. But it's very complicated because some are very, some taxpayers, older Americans included, are very worried because they did not get that stimulus payment in the first or second round. And there's many, many reasons they didn't get it. Um, you know, from a snafu to their, a drop in their income, perhaps they lost their job. And you can get that stimulus payment as a credit on your tax form. So you have to pay particular attention to your tax form. It's called the rebate recovery credit. I know it sounds daunting, but there are worksheets in both the 1040 form and then the special form for seniors, for older Americans. It's called the 1040 SR. There's a special worksheet in there that will walk you through it. I would urge every older American, every American to, to look at that and walk through that worksheet because in some cases, depending upon your income, not only will it reduce your taxes, but it could result in a refund. All right, and I see you guys out there on social media listening and viewing. Okay, I got this question for you, uh, Margie. Now, I know you're not a tax consultant, but they, the, the poster wants to know from, where is it coming from, Instagram, that they received unemployment because they were furloughed, but they didn't receive a stimulus payment. How do they reconcile that? Mm, good question. That, that is a very good question. Again, let's go back to the tax form, the, the worksheet with the 1040-SR or the 1040 form itself. It's the rebate recovery credit. They can get their stimulus payment in the form of a credit uh, that we just talked about. So they really need to take advantage of that worksheet. Get the form online, in paper, get that form and go through there and it will walk them right through it. We of course also have a lots of information on our website that they can go to that walks people through how to claim your missing stimulus payment or an amount that you believe you are entitled to. All right, thank you then. Thank you for that question. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's move on. What are there tax frauds and scam this year that we need to look out for? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a great question. Every year we got <laughs> fraudsters. They're always one step ahead of us. The perennial one is ratcheted up this year. And that's, you know, you pick up the phone and it's the, it's somebody saying they're the IRS and they're saying that you owe back taxes and they're threatening to haul you away and put you in jail. That is just ridiculous. If you did owe back taxes, the IRS would send you a letter. But the big twist this year is we have discovered that some people are applying for unemployment benefits in other people's names. This is identity theft, pure and simple. And we want to make sure that people are aware of this. People don't find out. We've heard from uh, older Americans. They don't need, they're, they're shocked and surprised when they get the, the tax form in the mail that says, this is how much you've collected in benefits. It's, it, that's the only way they find out. So people need to know that this is happening. Um, we would encourage everyone to file early if they can. Are there any resources to help uh, the listeners? Oh, yeah. They can, we have gathered a lot of information about how to get your stimulus payment through your tax return, all about unemployment benefits, all about standard deductions for the 65 plus. There's lots of help out there. It's all at www.aarp.org slash taxes. 
I want to thank you so much, Ms. Maddox. This has been a delightful to get a Q&A with you, and I think you've helped a lot of us. So you guys get ready for tax season. As she said, it's going to be something else. Thank you, Ms. Maddox. Yeah, it's going to be a doozy this year. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely look, look at it. If it's it. coming from the expert, it's going to be a doozy. I believe you. It's going to be a doozy. Have a great day. All right. Thank you, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.